Contemplations on Impermanence and Death Living in death's realm, unaware and unafraid, sleeping like a star. I don't like to think of that far off place and time when my life will end. Should death come too soon, I would face him unperturbed, knowing I have lived. If amongst my kin, I alone should suffer death, that I would regret. Though jealous of youth, sickness heals, age matures, just death I can't outrun. That death is common does not make it suffering less, that I should bear it. That death's uncertain does not mean I should forget, like cows for slaughter. Let me live and love each fibre of existence, each fleeting moment. Should I fix my goal on wealth or honour, then die, or to what avail? I shall not exchange this short life for future gain, nor sin to guard it. Like a passing stream, this life, this thought, this haiku, dies each instant new. Though I'm not attached to this fragile earth and frame, may my life live on. I grieve that one day, son and daughter pass away. I forget myself. A child does not choose to bear this heavy burden of my life and death. Fathers love their sons more than sons love their fathers. Hard then to succeed. Mother's love for child is supreme, yet does it not desire obedience? Were love absolute, the suffering of parting would last forever. What good loves longing, knowing it but harms oneself? Why languish in it? What hypocrisy to grieve in false sympathy for affection's sake? Meeting and parting, friendship and loss, joy and pain, all come together. The times we had seem long, eternity is longer, I break attachment. Time is not my friend, I marvel at the moment, and life slips away. Afraid I delay, but death's punishment is sure, time will force my hand. Things gnaw at my mind that first I do, yet what's done must be left behind. The forest beckons, contemplating this life's end, I die to death's realm.